Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on the Samsung Galaxy. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and then search for our how to load a custom ROM on the Samsung Galaxy procedure. Okay, before you begin, you need to do our how to root the Samsung Galaxy procedure. Uh, we have a link right there in case you haven't done it. Once you've done that, you can come back to this one and we can continue. Okay, now you need to download the ROM that you want. So you can click on the link here to go to our Samsung Galaxy ROMs. And I'm going to choose the first one, which is the Motoko Custom ROM, to bring you to his page. Scroll down, you'll find a download link. We're going to use the first one. Click that and download the ROM. Okay, now you're going to take your phone, plug it in via the USB cable. And then we're going to pull down the notification. And we're going to mount so that we can transfer stuff to the internal storage. Okay, then we're going to take the ROM we downloaded. We're not going to extract it. We're going to leave it as a .zip. And we're going to drag it over to our internal storage, or it calls an SD card in the Galaxy. And not put it inside any folder. We just want it on the memory itself. So it'll just be a removable disk, and then on that. And let that copy. Okay, once you've copied the ROM, you can unplug the USB cable. Then we're going to turn off the phone. Then we're going to turn the phone back on by holding down volume down, send and end at the same time. And wait until the word recovery mode comes up on the screen like that. And you can let go. And it should boot into the recovery screen. Okay, now in the recovery screen, we're going to go down to Nandroid Backup. Click OK. And wait for it to perform the backup. Okay, when it's done, it'll say backup complete. Now we are going to go to wipe data, factory reset, press home to confirm. and it should reboot itself into recovery mode. Okay, once it does, we can scroll to apply any zip from SD. And we're gonna select the ROM that we put on there, click OK, press home to confirm, and let it flash the ROM. Okay, once it's done, it'll say install from SD card complete. You can then click OK on reboot system now, and wait for it to reboot. Okay, and then once the phone boots up, you're running your custom ROM and you're all set, enjoy.